Hey guys, uh, so yeah, today is opening morning of dove season here in Central Texas and last night I came up with this idea, you know, I had this grand plan of everything I was going to do, I had a deal laid out, you know, uh, do kind of a, uh, instead of a catch and cook, it'd be a shoot and cook. Um, but as they say, best laid plans of mice and men. Um, I've been hunting out here for my entire life. This is some of our family's land, uh, and I, it's never been this bad. We got shut out pretty bad. Um, only saw, I think I shot six times, and those were uh, a hope and a prayer. Dogs are pretty upset, but they'll, be, they'll get over it. Um, but yeah, so I had all this deal, you know, I was gonna make a little meal with the dove breast and, you know, have a whole thing, but like I said, it didn't work out. But I figured I could still do, um, I have a, got a, brand, got a brand new little stainless steel grill from a pocket box and a, so Quick Survive is more or less known for their fire starters. They make really good fire starters. Uh, the light in any conditions, but there's also a little, uh, they also make a little folding stove, a little, uh, multi-fuel folding stove, and I haven't had a chance to cook this, cook any of this in yet, so I figured, what the hell, might as well, uh, so this should be a quick video. Yeah, I was gonna, you know, break down bushcraft bag and everything for you guys, but that hunt pretty much took the wind out of my sails, so. We're gonna try to do something here. It's been raining for about three days straight, so everything's pretty well wet. Uh, went and tried to find the driest timber I could find, or, you know, wood, kindling, all that. Um, so we'll see if we can get something going. Have a nice little, uh, get this little fire going. So this little quick survive folding set. I mean, lays down super thin. It should grill great. Those three, those together lay pretty thin. It also has a alcohol tray. You can slide in there. So that makes it a little bit thicker, but still not bad at all. So let's get this together. It's got two slots in it, two levels, uh, obviously. Lower level for solid fuel. Top one is where your alcohol cup goes. Locks in together like that. Got a little feed too. Not really worried too much worried about a fire, a grass fire, because like I said, it's been raining for three days. Where's my dogs? There's one. Bo! Heel! There he is, all right. Those are my buddies. Those are my hunting buddies. They were pretty, they were pretty upset today. Uh, didn't exactly go to plan for them. Uh, me either, for that matter. But, you know, they they take it a little harder than, uh, than I do. If we can't get something going here. Okay. Didn't eat my weedies this morning. And there is absolutely zero breeze. And it is about 98% humidity right now. So if I look nice and glistening on camera, I'm sweating my ass off here.
that could use a run on the old sharpener. All right. What did I do with my tree bark I was going to use for kindling? Do not know, but we'll, we're going to improvise. Today's been a day of improvis improvisation. Sometimes you just have to adapt and overcome. Trust the old condor bush lure. Some of this off of here. And we're not trying to build any kind of raging fire, you know, just enough to bring bring a cup to boil and cook all the yummy stuff off of the new stainless steel. All right, we're getting down there to some dry wood. Bust out the fire kit. Let's see. Ferro rod. Let's use just a little cotton ball and vest and hang down here in the bottom of this bad boy. Just to help expedite the process a little bit. Oh, I am sweating, guys. You're in the shop. Really? Move. Move. Good girl. So yeah, guys, had a uh, thermal shutdown on the phone there. Sorry about that. So guys, yeah, Texas, uh, Texas be wilding today, and uh, had another thermal shut off, and had to wait for it to cool down before I could resume the video. And well, I was too far into it at that point to start over. But as you see, twig stove going, little grill, Stanley pot. Good times. 
burning all the fun stuff off of it. it smells lovely. But yeah, so oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. No harm, no foul. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Like I said, I had a bunch bigger plan for today, but um, yeah, doesn't always work out the way you plan. Uh, I am pretty impressed with this little stove, though. Uh, it's holding holding the heat good. Just you know, it breathes well. Just like I mean, you could see the water cooking out of that wood there. It's it's wet. Um, but appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, sorry I didn't get to do as planned, but you know, you know how it goes sometimes. So thanks, guys. Have a good one, and see you next time.